So it's a Friday night, you're drinking a beer, and you're out in the shop. What do you do? Start tearing crap apart. And what do we have? A foot dimmer switch out of a, a vehicle. Now these seem to be a dying breed because, you know, maybe they haven't used them in a vehicle for like 30 years, but, you know, heck, three out of five vehicles in my fleet still use them. Now it's hard to read it, but I've uh, written bad on there, so I replaced this at one point. I think it was in my charger. It's an aftermarket unit, and apparently it died, and they're cheap enough that I just threw a new one in there. And uh, I don't know why I didn't just throw this out, but here we are. So before throwing this thing in the scrap pile, the light in my head went off to, this is a perfect opportunity to take it apart and see what's inside. You know, I mean, these are kind of a cool switch. You can wire them up to do all kinds of stuff. But, you know, what's that mechanism in there? So you've got some rivets holding the terminals on. There's no fasteners at the bottom. So it looks like you've got these little crimps here that's actually holding it on. So we'll have to uh, bend those back. So we'll get in there with the pick. Now you won't believe this, but there are springs inside. And when you uh, take it apart, uh, pieces go everywhere. So after doing some soul searching, we actually uh, stepped into this piece that was on the floor. And I don't remember seeing this before, so it's got to be part of that. So here's what we got so far. You got your cap, your first spring, your little toggle pin there, a uh, retainer, you know, bushing, and a mainspring. And this all slides down into the center there. And down there at the bottom is a plastic piece that's triangular. Now what happens is when that uh, little pin there pushes down on one side, it toggles over there like that. Now you see this point right here in the center. That's your little uh, divider. It pushes the pin from one side to the other. Now when the thing is in one position, that is kind of off center. So when the pin goes down, it pushes on this side and flips it over that way. So when the spring pops up and the uh, pin's in the center, it comes down, diverts that way, pushes it over to there. Spring pops, it returns to the center, and you start all over again. But I still can't see what's inside that switch, so onward and inward. So we pry that out, and we're in. Well, we definitely found out why it's not working. There's not supposed to be chunks of plastic floating around in there. So there's your little rocker with the triangular top right there. So the spring here goes over that post and it, uh, that keeps the tension on that whole piece pushing forward. And what that does is that pushes that uh, brass piece there with the two little dimples there. It rocks back and forth between those uh, four terminals there. The bottom one is your central power supply and the top two are your low beam and high beam, or, you know, vice versa. And that presses down on there, either in that position or that position. It connects, you know, one of the two. Well, as it turns out, those plastic chunks are actually from the outside here. The corners were broken off. And those pieces were rattling around in there, jamming things up. So the mechanism didn't actually fail. It was more of, uh, you know some poor plastic uh, quality that contributed to this thing not working. Now in the spirit of cheapness, we're not gonna just throw this thing away. I mean, I'm gonna get my three dollars worth. We're gonna rebuild her. Now one of the cool things about using this for other purposes other than headlights, there's some half decent contacts there. I bet you can probably run maybe 10 or 15 amps through there. I'm not sure, I have to check the ratings. We're going to even lubricate this switch. This thing's never had it so good. Just got to restake the sides there. Now for science. So there you go. 
We didn't just save a few bucks. We learned something. You know how when you're driving down the road and there's a car coming at you with those retina burning HID lights, you know, or an LED light bar? Nothing's quite as satisfying as stomping on your high beam switch back at them. You just don't get that with the, uh, the little switch on the steering column. Don't hit it too hard though. One time the uh, rusty floor in my Jeep, I actually pushed this whole thing through the floor. <laughs>